Outside a family home in occupied East Jerusalem, hugs and tears, jubilation and sadness. But after eight years in jail, 24-year-old Shuruk Duwayat has a hard time accepting she's free. Even now, I can't believe it, that I'm walking in the street without guards, that at night I can see the moon and the sky in one uninterrupted view, because in prison you can't. In 2015, Shuruk was convicted of stabbing one Israeli man and attempting to stab another. She was sentenced to 16 years in prison. In the past, her family told Israeli media outlets that Shuruk was acting in self-defense after a man tried to pull off her headscarf. On Saturday, everything changed. That's when Shuruk was released from an Israeli jail as one of at least 150 Palestinian prisoners Israel agreed to set free as part of a ceasefire deal with Hamas. But along with her newfound liberty came strict conditions. First, we're not allowed to engage in any display of celebrations. Second, we're not allowed to participate in any kind of political activity. Third, I'm not allowed to voice any opinion on social media. And does that make you feel pressure right now? It's true that I came back home and that I got my freedom, but I'm still restricted. Yeah. And how does your family feel about that? Is that? Are they even more worried now because of that? They're very worried about this. There's a lot of fear. The pressure remains, but today Shuruk and her mother try to feel a bit of enjoyment. In another part of occupied East Jerusalem, Jad Hamad waits and worries. On Saturday, he was told his family would be reunited with his 16-year-old daughter, Nufuth, who at the age of 14 was accused of attempting to stab a settler. Nufuth was sentenced to 12 years in prison. The family denies the accusations. Jad went to the detention facility where he believed he'd be picking up Nufuth, waited for hours, and was then ordered to leave, alone. One thing I can say is that I'm burning from the inside. This is my girl, my daughter. I don't know where she is, if she's eating, if she's drinking, if she's cold, or even if she's sick. As Palestinians, Jad and his family are accustomed to anxiety and dread in equal measure. But this is far worse. Days that were meant to be happy turned even sadder. <laughs> Hours after speaking to Jad, we learned Nufud had been released. But what should have been a joyous occasion for the family turned into a frightening evening as Israeli police raided their home multiple times, kicking out journalists, barring any celebrations, and reminding an already worried family that their collective sigh of relief won't be happening anytime soon. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.